Hey YouTube, it's Lewis with Rose Pets Travels. And today, I just want to make a quick video to show you how the casita holds up really well to cold weather, even though it's not exactly a Four Seasons trailer. Um, we just got back from a trip where we were boondocking in 29 degree weather, um, and we had no issues whatsoever. So here in Houston, uh, we got a cold snap and it got down to 28 degrees with um, a wind that makes the wind chill down to, I don't know, 15 or 13 or something. It, it, was, it, it was feeling a lot colder than it actually was. Um, and, but the temperature only got down to 28. So we decided not to completely winterize because we were going to um, travel. We're going to travel again this coming week. So I didn't want to go through all the winterizing process if the weather was going to be not super cold. So I want to show you we have water in our tank and that's water. It is not frozen and it never froze. And what we did is um, just like we did when we were boondocking, we turned on the heat. So we have the heat on and we opened doors and let the heat circulate and go under the cabinets. I actually turned on the water heater also on gas mode, even though it's plugged in. And I did that because I wanted the water heater to actually have a flame and be heating up. And it is next to our lithium battery. So it helps uh, keep the lithium battery a little bit warmer because the lithium won't charge when it gets below freezing. Uh, so we did that, and everything is fine. Everything's running. Uh, we opened the bathroom door and the cabinet door, and we opened these doors and let heat circulate underneath where there's plumbing. And then I'll show you. See, we do have water, and it flows. It is not freezing currently outside but we've had 18 hours of below freezing weather already and then tonight we're going to have a little bit of time when it's below freezing again and we're going to do and luckily the electrical grid has held up and we have not lost electricity however if it did we have the propane heater and that propane heater would have cut on and it would have still uh, kept the trailer warm and we would have the same effect. We would, everything would have operated the same way. Currently we're doing it with the electric heat that is on the ceiling and it's keeping the trailer nice and toasty. Uh, and so my point is this is possible if the weather is in the 20s the the trailer can be used and you can actually um, keep it warm and keep things operating uh, without freezing as long as the temperature doesn't go to really really cold extremes so uh, that's what I wanted to let you know and uh, the it, it's I'm really happy with the way the trailer doing and holding up. We'll see you in the next video.